I'm sorry. No. There's a mistake. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. Wasn't that unbelievable? An <laughs> epic mistake on last night's Oscar Awards put Moonlight in the spotlight in a way no one could have ever predicted. It's giving a much wider audience a chance to take a closer look at the movie and those who made it. As CBS 2's Jim Williams tells us, the film Screenwriter began working on the story as a young student at DePaul University right here in Chicago. When Terrell Alvin McCraney was studying acting at DePaul, a professor saw he had another talent, too. And Carla said, you know, Terrell, you're an amazing actor, because he really was an amazing actor, but you're an amazing writer. Is there anything you want to work on? Indeed he did. McCraney wrote a play. What, man? Come on, you just drove down here. And Moonlight is based on that work, the story of a young gay black man growing up in Miami. It's personal. I mean, it's really intimate. It's an intimate story about Miami. McCraney was in the first play to Paul Professor Lisa Portis, directed in Chicago. Terrell is constantly using his gift to bring forward stories that are rarely seen. After DePaul and Yale, McCraney joined the illustrious Steppenwolf Theater Ensemble. His play, Head of Passes, was performed here. Terrell's work is suffused with a deep understanding of the human spirit. He writes with an uncommon amount of love and uh, respect for the people that he writes about. And when Terrell Alvin McCraney won an Oscar for his Moonlight screenplay. You should have heard us the screaming in our <laughs> house for Terrell. The joy was shared by his Chicago teachers and colleagues. And I am just so very proud uh, that he graced these halls and that he continues to grace the world with his uh, gifts and his commitment. McCraney now heads the playwriting program at the Yale School of Drama while maintaining his ties to Chicago. His play, Wig Out, will be performed at DePaul in April. Live in the newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica? I'm sure so many can't wait to see his latest work, Jim. Well, it's a, it's a play that he has had, uh, you know, that he wrote a while ago, so there's a revival of sorts at DePaul. Ah, nice. Yeah. Thank you.